Hello and one and all and welcome back to a review on my channel. Yes, I'm doing another movie review, like with Extraction. Yes, and it's also a Netflix review. And on and this review I shall be talking about uh Spike Lee's new film on Netflix, and that is D5 Blood. So D5 Blood is uh directed by Spike Lee. And it stars Chadwick Boseman, and you've got a pretty good cast in here. You also got uh, the De Roy uh, Lando. Sorry if I butchered his name, but and yes, this is basically about these uh, four Africans that are going back to this uh, Vietnam War. They're basically uh, hunting for this uh, gold in the trek and trying to figure out what they're gonna do with it, basically. So yeah, guys, I'm I was actually interested because you know I've heard some good reviews. Uh, it's from a director who I'm not actually too familiar with. I've not seen any of his movies. I mean, I've heard he's pretty good, especially with um, uh, Black Black Klansman with uh, Adam Driver. Because as someone who's more of a blockbuster movie person. I thought to myself, heck, why not check this out? And yeah, this movie's great. It really is great, honestly. Um, first of all, the performances are really uh, great in here. Um, and and Delroy Lindo, who plays Paul, oh my god, he was fantastic. Easily the highlight of the film, he's just, he was a fantastic performance, uh, his acting, uh, the way he felt for his, I felt for his character, well done. And when uh, Chadwick Boseman is in the movie, he's also great as uh, Nor Noran. I'm terrible with game names, guys I know. Um, And yeah, this movie is also well shot as well. And I believe he also, um, hang on, um, I believe he also shot, yeah, he also shot uh, Extraction, which I also reviewed if you haven't checked out my review. So yeah, he's pretty good cinematography for a Netflix film. <laughs> and one thing that I've noticed about this film, what was so good, is the editing. And, and I'm like, Spike Lee's actually really good. Spike Lee's films are well edited. They really are. Like, wow. <laughs> um, like, like mo I'm not going to spoil it too much, but but when you like see a picture and you hear the scene still happening, just, I'll not spoil it too much, but, but watch the movie and you'll know what I mean, because the editing is really good here. I love the editing. Some of the best editing I've seen in a film in a while. Like, it is really good. Um, you can call this a war film. But basically, it is a drama, basically. Because, you know, it's a war drama where where these uh, characters are basically discussing their uh, past. You know, what has happened to them, basically. And that's basically another part of the concept. Yeah, all the characters, as I say, are very good here. You know, just... I haven't seen many movies. This is the fifth movie I've seen of 2020. Yes, I have still yet to see Onward. Yeah, I know. But when it comes out on Disney+, Plus, I will be watching it and review it. Uh, but yeah, this might be another last uh, review. I would re Film I would review for a while because of what's going on right now. But I've been trying to figure out what classic reviews, but I've kind of enjoyed doing ranking videos. I mean, sometimes you just never know, but I just normally like to review classic movies during uh, when a new movie comes out relevant to it, to something, but yeah. Anyways, back to the movie. Um, the movie overall, it's just, it's very emotional, uh, it hits you very well, there's, there's a few funny moments, there's... Um, coming from someone who has not seen uh, Spike Lee's films, um, I was very 
I'm impressed with this film and um, there's great scenes in here and as far as negatives goes with the film um, uh, I love all the acts but the first act um, elements of it were a bit slow and I think there could have things other things that could have been explained better but but despite this movie being uh, two hours and 35 minutes it whizzed by I mean elements of it did sort of feel a bit honestly it didn't feel like it honestly I was I truly enjoyed um uh D5 D5 Bloods it's it is a I had a great time watching it on Netflix it's just yeah it's one of the best war movies I've seen in a while so overall guys uh D5 Bloods is um it's probably the best film I've seen this year so far and it probably will change soon but I just really enjoyed this movie. It was so great. Um, and this is the best film I've seen on Netflix. By Netflix anyway. And I do want to watch other Netflix movies. Uh, it's this film and Extraction I've seen. But I've also seen uh, other uh, Netflix stuff. Which is mainly TV shows. Which are um, Daredevil and Stranger Things. But other than that. Those, that's really all I've seen from uh, original Netflix really. But overall, guys, um, uh, The Five Bloods is such a great film. It's got great acting. Uh, De La Roy uh, Lendo is his performance is very Oscar worthy. I mean, and all the characters are great here. Everyone does a great job. Um, the editing is so good, um, especially for a war film like. It's just very good, and and yeah, and the movie is well shot. And yeah, guys, if you love war movies, um, and if you want to watch, and you have Netflix, give it a watch. It is worth your time, guys. And on my letter grade scale, I'm going to give uh, *The Five Bloods* an A minus. So there you go, guys. That was my review on *The Five Bloods*. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts on this movie were. Comment down below. Let me know what's the most recent uh, movie, new movie released that you've watched lately. It would be this one, but what's yours? Comment down below. Let me know, and let's have a great discussion. As always, comment, like, subscribe, uh, notify the bell before you leave, and share this video. And by the way, guys, uh, a little announcement to make. I have made a uh, a Facebook page of my own where I'm going to be posting my movie reviews on there. Well, not just movie reviews, but anything from my YouTube channel, basically, which will also contain ranking videos and Blu ray videos. So if you guys want to um, um, check it out, the link will be in the description below. You don't just have to find movie reviews on Twitter, which I do post on Twitter. You can also find them on Facebook. So yeah. All the social media links will be in the description below. And as always guys, until my next video, I shall see you guys then, and peace.